It's too bad we gotta split up. Please, come visit the castle anytime. He'll really come if you say that. What? Didn't she just invite me? Huh. Idiot. With the treaty, it'll become easier for guild members to enter the capital. That's right. Princess, we should be going. Oh, yes. I promise to do what I can about Rago, to see that he gets the punishment he deserves. Princess, you should know. What? You see... Lord Rago has not been seen since last night. We do not yet know the details. His whereabouts are being investigated as we speak. What could this mean? Maybe he got scared and ran away. Well, I guess I'll be going too. I want to check out stuff like those air credits. When I finish my analysis, I'll, um, pay a visit to the capital too. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, okay then, see ya! And Carol, where will you go from here? I want to start up a guild with Yuri. That sounds like a good idea. Your Highness. Sorry, I'm ready now. Shouldn't I go get Yuri? No. I wouldn't want to wake him. All right. Well, the sit. Yeah, I hope we see each other again. Yuri, are you awake? Estelle and Rita already took off. Oh. If you hurry, you might still be able to catch her. I can meet them anytime I want. Jeez, Yuri. Fine, if that's how you're gonna be. Even if I did go, it would just make it harder for them to leave. What the? Monsters. Yuri! Carol, any idea what that thing is? No, I've never seen anything like that before. It's coming down! Come on, Carol. What? Hey, wait! Reunited with Carol and Repeat, and welcome back for more Tales of Vesperia. Um, last time, some serious, serious stuff happened. <laughs> uh, one mess after another. Just when I get to relax, I get dragged into another mess. Yuri, fate really is out to get you. Hey, it's not all my fault. You had a role in this too. But I never ran into gigantic monsters or got arrested by knights before I met you. Well, things didn't go bad for me until I left the capital with Estelle. So that means... Drop it. Keep moving. R right. Maybe Estelle is cursed. Hmm. Oh, oh, and there's Flynn. What is going on here? Yuri, protect her highness! Yuri, look! This way, foul fiend! Why is it just ignoring us? Is it coming for... me? The, the Commandant. But why is he here? Our finest knights. I am left with no choice. We will stop this beast with the help of Heracles. Yuri, wait! There's nothing more you can do! <laughs> you expect me to stand by while that thing makes a snack out of Estelle? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. It can speak! Who... who are you? Yuri! You're safe. What is 
is that? Heracles! Whoa! We gotta get out of here! I'm going to leave the city and continue my journey. What do you mean? If you're going back to the capital, you shouldn't keep Flynn waiting. It's for you to decide. Then I... Now that's what I wanted to hear. Judith? Don't! It's too dangerous! Look who's talking. I'll be fine. You go on ahead. Come on, quickly! My, you're a stubborn one. Huh? Why is it taking off? Yuri! Lady Estelise! Wait! Here comes the cavalry. I'm sorry, Flynn. I realize now I can't just go back to the capital. There are too many things I still need to know. Surely after returning to the capital, you can... The voices of the people suffering in Nora Harbor never reached the capital. I won't achieve anything if I'm not willing to approach these problems head on. I've come to realize that during my travels. That's why. That's why I have to keep going. Your Highness! Flynn, get this core back to the lower quarter. Yuri! I won't be going back to the capital anytime soon. I'm going to start up a guild. Give my regards to Hanks and everyone else. Yuri! A guild? So that's what you meant by doing things your own way? Yeah, I finally made up my mind. That's fine, but what about Princess? Take care, Flynn. Yuri! I suppose I should have talked to you first, but here's to our new guild, Carol. Right! All right, let's go. If we hang around here much longer, some of those knights are bound to come after us. Estelle earned the Seeker of the Truth title! Unite with Estelle and Judith! Handed over the Aqua Glastia Core. Man, there's a lot of story here. <laughs> Not much talking for me. The monster that attacked Dongrest. That huge flying monster actually talked, right? You ever heard of a monster like that? I've never seen or heard of anything like that. I don't think anybody in the Hunting Blades has. Man, first that thing in Karabakram and now this. The world's just full of surprises. I don't care how many lives you have, it wouldn't be enough to fight that thing. Yeah, not even I feel like taking on a monster like that. Oh, you big baby. What? It's only a 20 foot... It's only a 20 meter tall monster. Anyways, you want to head back in quickly. Uh, hopefully we have enough time here. That's the guy we met at Cave Mock. Hello? <laughs> and here Estelle's being so nice. Somebody needs to work on their manners. You're one to talk, Yuri. Hey, that monster's gonna attack us again if we keep wandering around here. Yes, you're right. You were the target of his attack? What? Uh, oh, yes. Um, do you know what he meant by insipid po- What, is that your pet or something? We follow the same course of action. What, you're doing the same thing as a monster? Then does that mean you've come here to attack me too? My blade does not exist to pass sentence on humans. How odd. He has taken his leave. But why? Uh. Perhaps I am mistaken. No. That guy still doesn't make any sense. What do you think he's up to? Who knows? Hey, we don't have time to just hang out here and enjoy the scenery. Oh yeah, we gotta go! 
yeah, that was all you wanted to do here. Um, anyways, if there was an achievement for completing the entire first chapter, first part of this game, basically up to this point here, without using any items, and if you got it, you would have, and if you completed it, you would have gotten it right there. Anyways, uh, next time we're going to start moving off and we're going to head back towards the harbor, the Torum Harbor, so we'll see you then.